hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i will be teaching you how to make this spirit wake up um, like i always say our videos are so simplified i teach them in very easy steps so um they are beginner friendly and you don't need to have any experience to be able to make any of the designs we put out here right so um, i'll be teaching you how to make this wake up in very simple steps um, it's something you can make yourself at home like i always say um, you can rock it anywhere it's trending um, it doesn't go out of fashion yeah and you can use it on bad hair days right so um, you can just um, grab it and wear it and go wherever you want to go it's um it's beautiful it's classy it's trendy right it's cheeky you know so um if it's something you would be interested in learning or if it's something you'd like to learn stick around don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell guys so we are going to start off with marking the points on our beret where we would be attaching our weave on okay so um that's what we are going to do first to mark the points on our beret where we would be attaching um the weave on right okay so um i placed the beret on the mannequin head so that i can identify these points yeah so right now i want to take my measurement from ear to ear that is the first measurement you take right so assuming this is the ear of the person you're making the wig the beret wig cap for yeah so you want to take your measurement from the ear first to the other ear and then you measure 1.5 from that point forward why so that our weave on would not just be dropping at the back but it will start from somewhere here right just like the one you just saw in the picture okay so to do this to achieve this you would need to turn your beret inside out that's the front so i'm turning it inside out yeah and then i would just um place my beret like this okay and then i'll mark both ends once i place it like this i just assume that each point each end of it represents the position of one ear of an ear right so um i just bend it like this and then um and then mark those ends i mark the two ends of the folded beret right okay so um <coughs> Um, I marked the two ends of the folded beret. Sorry, I marked the two ends of the folded beret. So um, I mark here first of all, and then I go ahead to mark the second part of it, the second end. Okay, right. So that represents the two ears. Okay. So from each ear point, from that point I marked, I'm going to take 1.5 extra, okay? 1.5, right? So why was I measuring um, the beret when I folded it in two initially? That's so that I could get the length because different berets have different sizes, all right? So I wanted to get the length when the beret is folded so that when I add my 1.5 to each end, I'll be able to know the exact length of the of the weave on I'm going to cut, okay? Yeah, so I, I just, um, that was why I measured it. Okay, so um, I've marked 1.5 from each point I marked initially. <coughs> Sorry, from each point I marked initially. So that's the ear and then that's the 1.5 mark. So that's the ear and then that's the 1.5 mark as well, right? So <coughs> after doing that, after getting these two important um, points on my beret, I'm now going to place it on the mannequin. 
this time i'm going to place it um inside out right yeah because i'm going to be sewing on the back of this beret not in front okay so i'm going to be sewing at the back of the beret i'm going to be sewing on the back rather i'm not going to be sewing in front okay right so i'm going to be sewing on the wrong side of the beret and not the right side of the beret right so that's um that's the beret i've turned it inside out yeah and so those are the points i marked you can still see them right yeah so those are the points i marked right and so for emphasis let's assume this is the ear of the person and so you've measured from ear to ear by folding your your beret in half right and so that's the 1.5 mark i measured away from the ear okay so that's the ear right and this is the 1.5 mark right so we want our beret to fall this way when we wear it or like fall yeah fall this way when we wear it we just don't want it to um fall behind the ear we want it to look natural as though you you had the weave on on your head right not on the beret so um that's it we want it to yeah so this the ear okay and then this is the 1.5 mark like you see in the picture how the beret starts from um that's mark right okay right so we have marked everything out now and so we are ready to um fix our weave on so but first of all we're going to measure that out so i'm just combing it out like i said you can use any kind of weave on you you have or you want you know like your old weave ons you don't need to throw them away you can use them for things like this right you can make them in different colors sell them keep them gift them to people you know so um you can use any weave on of your choice honestly you can use a wavy one you can use a coily one you can use more than the number of lines we're going to use here it just depends on how much or how um how um rich you want your turban um, your beret we cap to look right right so if you remember when i folded my turban in two my beret in two sorry and i measured it it was nine right and then we took 1.5 inches 1.5 inches from each side and 1.5 inches plus 1.5 inches is um is three so we're going to add nine inches to three inches and that gives us 12 and a half inches so for this particular beret um beret wig cap we're going to be using just three lines of weave on of 12 and a half inches each which is nine inches when i folded the beret in two and then 1.5 inch on each side which is um 12 and a half inches right so um you you should always pre-cut your weave ons before you start or you um yeah you should always pre-cut them and just prepare them right except you want joinings you can actually do with joinings so you can see that i have already cut my weave ons and it's 12.5 that's 12 and a half inches and i'm going to be using three lines for this particular um beret um we cap you can use more right at times i use five at times i use six depends on how full you want your turban to be so i'm just double checking to make sure that i cut my um weave ones correctly so it's time for me to fix the first line of my weave on right so i'm gonna start from the mark i made the 1.5 mark yeah so that's it starting from the 1.5 mark and then i'm gonna sew on this line this outer border i'm not gonna sew on the turban cap on the body of the turban cap i'm gonna sew on the hemming of this of this border the turban um border so that's where i'm going to be making all my stitches right so i'm just going to place my weave on on it and then pick from the inside right 
I'm picking from the inside and I'll just continue like that till I get to the other 1.5 mark. So you always sew from one of the 1.5 mark to the next 1.5 mark, right? Sewing on the border that's um, the hemming of the, the turban of the beret. You're not going to sew on the body of the beret because you don't want the stitches to be seen on the other side, right? Right, so I'll just continue stitching. Right, so you can see where my needle is here. So that's where I put past my needle, right? And then through the weave on and then I pull out, right? And so you can never see the stitch on the other side of um, of the beret, right? So this is the right side of the beret. You can see how neat it looks. You can't find any stitch there because all my stitches are done inside, right? And so if you're using an old weave on, remember to comb or brush as you go, right? Otherwise, if you don't brush as you go, it will be very difficult for you to brush out after you're done um, stitching it on, right? So I just continue stitching, right? And so I'm just gonna, gonna continue stitching till I get to the other 1.5 mark I made on the other side, right? Making sure my stitches are hidden, right? So we are still stitching, right? And so we've just um, gotten to the second 1.5 mark we made, right? So I'm just gonna end this here. And you see, I don't have any excess weave on because I cut the exact length that I needed, right? All right, so I'm just ending my stitches for this first um, line of weave on, right? And so after this first line um, of attaching this first line, I normally take off the beret and give the weave on a good comb, combing or brush, right? I brush it very well so that I don't have um, any tangled parts right because it's normally difficult to brush out once you have attached it right you just um so um i'm brushing it out or i'm combing it out so that um no part of it is tangled and then we're ready for the next line so i'm gonna fix the next line on top of the first one like so right we're not fixing it anywhere else we're fixing it on top of the first one and we are passing our needle through the same places we passed it for the first one right we are not sewing on our beret we are sewing on the hemming right so you see that point where i'm passing my needle yeah so that's where the hemmed ends that's where we are sewing that's where we are passing our needle through so that all our stitches are hidden. You see, some people like to use um, bonding glue for this, but um, the problem with bonding glue is that when you brush on it too hard, it comes off. It honestly comes off. It doesn't stay, um, it doesn't um, last for too long. But when you sew them on, when you sew your weave-ons on, they can last for ages and you can even wash your beret with your weave on and it will not go off, right? You can wash your beret with your weave on, straighten your weave on, bob it, whatever you want to do and it will still remain in place, right? So we just, um, I'm almost done stitching um, the second line, right? You see all the weave ons are ending at the same point because I pre-cut them before I started stitching. So all of them are ending at the same point. It helps your work to look very, very neat, right? So, um, so I'm just gonna end this stitch right now. Just, I'm gonna do a few more stitches and then I'll end it. So um, I'm gonna end it now and then we'll go on to fixing the third one but just remember 
with each line you end, you must take off the beret and give it a good brushing or combing, right? So, um, we're done with this. I'm just going to cut off the excess thread now. And then I'm going to brush it again. So I don't get tired of brushing. I just keep brushing and brushing because I don't want it tangled up, right? And then I would have to do the work of brushing when I'm done doing everything, right? So I just do it as I go so that there are no tangled parts and your work looks neat, right? Right, so... um. Remember that our uh, mark, right? The 1.5 mark. So that's how we want the weave on to drop. Remember, you can do different styles. Like if you want the front fringe one, you can also make the front fringe one. But this is the style we are choosing for this particular um, video. Um, I'll do other styles later. But for this particular video, this is the particular style we are doing. It's, um, yeah, so I'm brushing out to make sure it's not tangled up especially when you're using an old weave on you need to just keep brushing it and brushing it so that it doesn't get tangled up while you're trying to attach it right because um you don't want to start brushing when it's already on the beret right so we're going on to the third one so for this particular third line it's a, it's a little different from the first and the second one because you're going to be fixing it on top you know um so this particular line we normally fix it just to cover the mess right we just say we're fixing it to cover the mess even though no mess was made we made very clean stitches with the first and second one first and second line but um we just like to fix this one to cover up everything so that um your your beret wig cap can appear um very neat on the inside as well right so um i'm just going to place it on top and i start stitching what am i doing i'm just um stitching it from you see i'm just attaching it from the top i pick the top one and then pass it through the first two i just did and then the top and um hemming and that's all right so it's nothing too difficult so if you watch what i'm doing you see that I'm passing it from the top and then down straight to the other two I just attached and pull it. So that's all I'm doing. There's nothing else I'm doing. There's nothing complex about it. So if you look closely, yeah, so I'm just passing it off from the top, down, pull. And that's all, right? And so I'm just going to continue it till I get to the second 1.5 mark and you see what i said initially is just to cover the mess right even though no mess was made okay so um yeah so when we're done you would see it um more clearly right so you can see it's already covering the first two um lines we did initially right so um We'll just continue that till we get to the next 1.5 um, mark we made um, on the other end, right? So um, we are here and um, we have gotten to the whole second 1.5 mark. So we're just going to um, complete this particular um, stitch and end it, right? So I'm just ending it already. I'm already doing um, the double knot to end it, right? So, um, yeah. So just keep sewing it till we get to the end, right? Okay. Make sure you knot it properly, especially this top one. Make sure you do your knotting properly right yeah so that's it so i'm done fixing the third one right so that's how it looks mm, that's how it looks all right so <laughs> you can see so 
you can't see it's covering um the mess it's covering um all we did with the first two um lines yeah so your beret wig cap looks really neat from the inside um so you see how it looks you can see the stitches right so um it's beautiful already we're not done but it's beautiful already right so um so i've just placed it on the mannequin head and i'm gonna brush it and then um if you're using an old weave on you know you should um stretch it if or you straighten it or curl it if you want to but otherwise you just um apply your oil if you normally use your oils when you weave on you just apply your oils and um brush it properly and you're good to go right so for this particular video i'm going to straighten this one I'm actually straightening it i'm just um using my hot comb to uh yeah so i was actually going to use a straightener but i don't think there's a need for it so i'll just use um the hot comb to so just stretch it a bit so that it can look um neat right so i think if you're using an old weave on you should um consider doing this as well right so that it can look um neat and new again so i'm just um straightening it mm, let's see how it's gonna look after the straightening yeah so that's how it looks um it's pretty like it's beautiful it's cheeky like you can rock this on anything i mean you can rock it on anything you know you can fly it you can park it you can do anything you want to do with it because it just looks as though it's your natural hair and you're wearing a beret on it do you understand it just looks like the weave on was sewn on your hair and you're wearing a beret on it Okay, so you see you can put the beret in any way you want, front, side, back, however you want it, man. It's beautiful. It's very, very classy. I mean, you know, so and you can use any color of beret you like or you want. Like you can make them in different colors, rock them on whatever outfit. It's going to look really, really beautiful, right? So, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's know in the comment section what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And um, make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can be notified.